You guys just opened, correct? Yeah, they opened yesterday at 12.30. We got a clearance. The city passed for HVAC, plumbing, electrical, and we're certified now, so we're right. real excited. And how'd it go last night? Terrific. Everybody seemed to love the IPA and the Saison and our triple. We had a specialty brown. Uh, it was really nice. Chilton County peaches. What made y'all want to open a brewery here in Birmingham, Alabama? <laughs> you know, it just, it just kind of happened. It, it wasn't really planned. It, uh, I moved to Birmingham, I guess, about four years ago and uh, got into the, the home brewing scene and, and uh, we just it grew from there and, and we bought a building in downtown Avondale, a historic building, and um, we didn't really know what to do with it. And, one day we woke up and said, hey, let's, let's start a brewery. And uh, Craig Shaw, our head brewer, um, and another buddy of mine, Casey Payne, they were, I guess, our inspiration to really get it going uh, because they make some really good beer. Um, and we thought that Birmingham and Alabama need more craft beer. And uh, I think Colorado has about 120 breweries. Alabama has, what, six? Six now. So. Um, we're excited, we're happy to be here, and we're, we're, uh, it's been a long time coming. So, y'all come out and have some, uh, some, some IPA or some Saison or a Belgium. But we couldn't be happier with, uh, Free the Hops and the BMA Pass. We just hope that Bentley just signs it and doesn't, <laughs> pushes it on through, doesn't mess around with it. Well, I'm originally, I'm born and raised in Gadsden, Alabama. Uh, we started back 40, about two and a half years ago. Magic City Brew Fest was the first festival we ever poured our beer at, so we're always sure to make it back every year. I mean, this is a, this is the integral part of the of the Alabama craft beer scene right here. This is the 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 main event. Our our, our truck stop Honey Brown Ale won a silver medal this year at the Great American Beer Festival in the specialty honey beer category. That was uh, that was a huge win for us and a huge win for Alabama. We're actually the first production brewery in Alabama to win a medal at the GABF. So that's uh, it's a sign of things to come for Alabama craft beer, no doubt. What do you think the BMA means for Alabama craft beer? I mean, it's uh, uh, to use a cliche term, a game changer, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, every business model, when it comes to microbreweries, includes a tap room and being able to bring your customers in and see not only what you do and how you do it, but why you do it. You know, what the culture of your company is, why you do what you do. And up until now, we've never been able to do that. We can't let people inside the doors and, and overcome a lot of those stereotypes that are associated with beer in general, you know. So to show them the difference between craft beer and just a mass-produced, mass-marketed product, you know, that's that's the that's the difference maker for the BMA. You know, is now these these people can come in, our customers can come in and see exactly why it is we do what we do, and then obviously on the other side of it for brew pubs, you know, now these great little brew pubs that have existed at one point or another in the state can actually package and distribute their beer, you know, if they want to, and that's you, it's just great from a business standpoint to have that option gets better and better every year man I mean and that the same is true for you know the guys at Avondale and straight to L and good people and you know uh, blue pants and yellow hammer all those guys I mean every year it just grows and it grows a little by little and that's what we're all about you know a rising tide floats all boats you know so we're in this together we're trying to put Alabama on the map <laughs> able to do what we've been wanting to do for a long time. Actually inviting people into our brewery, which we're proud of, and showing it off, and letting them come in and see the vibe we're trying to create, and sell them a beer, and show them the um, um, scene that we got going on, and have them go out in the marketplace and drink more of it, and um, start visiting other restaurants and bars. In July of 2008, we sold our first beer. So it's been going pretty well? Yeah, man, going well. Staying really busy. The new project's the canning project, so... Um, making things even more busy. More busy. Yeah. And that's been going pretty well. Yeah, it's been going really well. Yeah. Mostly state or going out of state? Only state. Man. Only state. Well, really, Birmingham and just a touch up in Huntsville and a little bit in Tuscaloosa. Um, 
and those are our three markets right now, and they're doing great. You know, we're, we're the lucky benefactors of being in a place where people are so supportive of their local local brewery. So, um, yeah, it's going really well so far. Long term? Long term in our world is a, a month away. So, um, midterm goals, we're thinking more right now than long term because the BMA is just a real game changer. So, um, taking care of that and buttoning that up and actually building something that people can be proud of to come in and we can serve people well and kind of serve as the tour depot. Um, that's the midterm goal to uh, take advantage of that. Long term, you know, we want to continue to make good beer and uh, we want to distribute statewide and after we go statewide.